Hello there, my name's Clive Groves. Um, I've been messing about with uh, apples and um, orchards and fruit pressing for longer than uh, I can remember, including getting caught for scrumping. This is um, a 12 litre cross beam fruit uh, presser. They also do it in a 6 litre size and an 18 litre size. Um, each press comes with a, a straining bag that you can use if you wish. Um, just put that over the top here and um, and this catches a lot of the pips and uh, bits of debris that might sort of fall into your juice. Um, however, we don't usually bother with it, um, but it's optional. It uh, keeps things nice and clean from the start. So. Now, before anything else, we need to uh, crush the apples. Um, so let's move these two back. Drop this one back, and this is um, this is the fruit crusher, which we need to apply on there. Get it lined up. Okay, now you're either um, going to um, make cider, or you're going to make um, just ordinary fruit juice out of this. Now these is getting pretty late in the autumn now, so this is um, these are actually more cider apples. And it doesn't matter if they're a little bit bruised, um, obviously if any are rotten then you don't put those in. But if it's cider obviously it self-cleans. Self You'll find it's easier to, um, to pulp the apples if you cut them into um, halves or even quarters. Uh, it just, um, just grips and the teeth of the machine grips them a bit better. Um, and it's just a case of using this bit of wood just to hold everything steady. And I'd like to use my knees as well. And um, and away we go. It's going down through there nicely now. Catching up. Okay, that's that. Then let's take that off. Um, as the apples nicely crushed in there. Just level them off and pull this over and screw these tight. Make sure it's all level. Then we start to put the press down, guiding it in between the uh, Latted shoe there, we're home and dry. Normally, you'd have this uh, much more full, but for demonstration purposes, we're just running it down. Right, we've got that into the bottom. Now, hopefully, we'll see the juice start coming out. Here it comes. Beautiful, lovely, fresh apple juice. Just do a few turns. As it slows down and turn it a little bit more. Just don't be too fast with it. You need to gradually sort of uh, take the juice out. And uh, there we go. Good nice apple juice we got a half a litre there from about 20 apples so um so good health to you